Strike dimmers are designed for incandescent and halogen bulbs. Using them for LED dimming have proven to be problematic as experienced by many installers. Many people had bad experience with track dimmers, but there's little explanation shared to the general public for the rationale behind. In this video, we want to explain to you the differences between digital LED dimmer and track dimmer. Here we have a few uh, track dimmers. Okay, this one is already connected to the dark light over there. So you see this actually dims normally, except that it didn't dim to the bottom level. Okay. Now let's try it with an other track dimmer. So this one is now connect. And starting from the brightness level, dims to the bottom. This one even dims to the bottom, which looks good. Okay. So both dimmers look fine on the downlight. Now before we proceed further, let's open this dimmer to understand what exactly is a track dimmer is like. Okay. Now this is the main circuit board. The controller IC is here. Okay, and at the back, you see this device is actually the track IZ. So, this semiconductor device, or the track itself, is really a, nothing but a semiconductor switch. Okay, and unlike a track dimmer that operates only on the leading edge, phase dimming, our digital LED dimmer supports both leading and trading edge methodology, facing face dimming methodology. So some people call our types of devices virtual dimmers. Now more importantly, in, 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 this, in order for the track dimmers to work for LED dimming, as subject to two parameters, the minimum holding current of the particular track IC inside the dimmer, which is really a parameter of this device, okay? which obviously we do not know what that is and also how much current the LED driver is drawn from the switch from the dimmer when dimming at low levels now the relationship between the two is that if the current drawn by the LED drivers always exceeds the minimum holding currents during, for, during the whole dimming operation then that by principle the track dimmer would appear to be working normally. Track dimmers work fine with incandescent halogen bulbs because the, those equipment consume a much higher current than LEDs, and hence the power savings benefits of LEDs. So in general, the formula holds in transitional lighting, but the same is not true for LEDs. Note some lighting equipment manufacturers do present a track dimmer compatible list or a spreadsheet to show a number of checks with different dimmer brands. However, a track IZ datasheet will show the typical and the maximum value of the holding current usually has a range of 10 times difference. So the compatible list is really not that useful to end users like us with a specific dimmer on hands like this one. Or oh, this one. Okay, we obviously don't know what that parameter is so in the following demonstration we are really working with parameters that we have no idea at all now to proceed with our demonstration first Nick take note of the smooth dimming performance let's switch this off first okay so the smooth dim performance on the LED strip light using dim easy LED dimmer which will compare with the track dimmers okay now let's disconnect the down light and only use the strip light for comparison 
now we have the strip light only connects to the track dimmers okay and we start from the maximum then you actually see some flickering already with the strip light okay now switch off now let's try another one the, uh, try other track dimmers and see how it how it performs okay now we have it connected you already see some flickering okay and it does, didn't go to the bottom except you switches off okay let's so now you see when we dim the LED strip light with both track dimmers at some point flickering begins although we don't know the exact value but this is what we just described that once the LED driver draws less current than the minimum holding current the track IC misfires and it no longer functions normally as a result, it triggers a series of visible flickers. Now let's connect to the same down light together and see if it stabilizes the situation. Now we have both the strip light and the down light connect to the first track dimmer. And starting from the maximum brightness level, let's dim it down. and you will see flickering again okay it didn't go to the bottom but this is what we're getting so you can see the obvious flickers now the switch is off now we connect to the second dim track dimmer and find out what that is like now we connect both with this second dimmer and start dimming at the bottom from the top thick rings with the LED strip light now is even worse with the down light it's very obvious both of them switch off let's put this back on so unfortunately as you see the flickering at the LED strip light at low level does not stop and it causes instability with the down light that we thought it was working properly before. The second track dimmer's performance is even worse as it allows dimming to the bottom level which means further away from the required minimum holding current. As the line voltage is shared among the devices so if one becomes unstable the whole system will be affected. The fundamental problem with track, track dimmers for LED dimming becomes more obvious when a lighting equipment consumes very small current and is capable of being driven at very low brightness level. And once flex, the others are subject to misbehave. This is not a technical seminar, so we won't go deep on this topic. However, based on what we just saw and other technical details, using track dimmers for LED dimming usually associated with the following complaints. 1. The limited dimming range. 2. Inconsistency in dimming performance, what we just sold, and 3. Shortened product lifespan. The track dimmers burns out frequently and this is related to the leading edge phase dimming methodology. Now just before we leave, we would like to highlight another important point here that as dimmer and driver works hand in hand, deep dimming performance can only be realized if both the dimmer and driver support the same level of performance. And this is what we would like to refer to as deep dimming compatibility which is really the desired performance in actual dimming applications unfortunately as there is not yet an established market standard on LED dimming performance any equipment with adjustable brightness level is called a dimmable product this again causes market confusion on what to be expected with LED dimming we hope by presenting the issues with the track dimmers our audience would understand that the track dimming compatibility is fundamentally different from the dip dimming compatibility concept. In order for LED dimming to become an accessible reality, 
end users should be aware of the right control technology in order to deliver their desired performance. So the next time you dim your LEDs, think about what you're using to dim it with. Don't play try and error to make LED dimming work with something that's really not designed for the application. And this will conclude our video here. To learn more about our dimming technology and product benefits, please check out other video series in, in the series. And thank you for watching.